Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Dual Time Reference 47450. You can see and you can purchase this versatile sporting style dual time watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images that don't include my wrist and of course complete pricing details. Now from 2004 to 2016 the Vacheron Constantin second generation overseas was the sports watch that defined its brand, arguably the most popular, most widely traded, and most researched and ultimately talked about Vacheron Constantin model line of that period had to be the overseas, while overpowering metier d'art like Les Masques and incredible complications up to and including Celestials marked that coming of age of Vacheron as a manufacturer. It was the overseas that largely paid the bills and built Geneva's muscle around those haute de gamme watches during the period. Why do people love this watch? Well, first, it fits beautifully, 42 millimeters across the round of the case. Uh, the watch is also wonderfully slim. Despite being a complicated automatic winding sports watch, this is a timepiece that's only 12.5 millimeters thick with a generously sloped Maltese cross motif bezel. It slides easily underneath a dress cuff. And yes, this one looks equally at home, peeking out from underneath a formal cuff or worn on a bare wrist for diving. Now the watch from lug to lug is wonderfully compact as well, 50.7 millimeters from lug to lug. There are very few 42 millimeter committed sports watches that are that narrow across the wrist. So you can wear this watch, in my estimation, on a wrist as small as 14 and a half to 15 centimeters in circumference. The bracelet feels phenomenal. It's substantial, it's supple, and this is one of the reasons the watch is with this case and bracelet design wear so well, second generation overseas bracelet pulls straight down. It has no tendency to flare or fight the curve of a smaller wrist. You can see how beautifully it's tapered. It's almost easier to see the taper than to feel the individual steps of the decreasing width links. That's how gradual, finely finished, and precise the tolerances are. You can also see the alternate satin and polish finish across the tops and the interstitial spaces of these links. That is impressive. It looks good, it feels good, and in the hand it feels weighty solid, like the door of a 1980s Mercedes. Look at the detailing down the flank, the hairline polished bevel transitioning from the satin hoods to the polished flanks, and of course all screws for sizing this bracelet. No pins, no sleeves here. Double deployant, trigger actuated. It's the kind of clasp you want to see on a large heavy sports watch. And of course the Maltese cross motif, ubiquitous, is herein represented. The watch also features a case that's wonderfully layered, complex, and massive without being bulky. You can see the watch has mass, presence, gravitas, stance across the wrist. Polished on its flanks, there's satin finish across the hoods of the lugs, a wonderful bevel along the flank, polished edges to the Maltese cross bezel, and then in between the edges you can see the intermediate spaces feature vertical satin grain, beautifully designed, thoroughly thought out. The dial is framed by a wonderfully expressive bezel and the dial itself is just as artfully rendered with a beautiful dished ray halt that slopes down to a clou de Paris cut center dial. Easy reading thanks to blackened hands atop a silver base. This is one of the few watches with a silver dial that is easily readable at a glance because so much thought was given to contrast where it matters and there's abundant luminescence on the dial indices and hands such that the watch is just as easy to read at night. You see a second time zone with an AM PM night day indicator. You see a power reserve scale for the roughly 40 to 42 hours of power reserve, a radial date and unlike the Jezure Le Coult movement on which this watch is based, the Vacheron variant, the 1222SC features a pusher corrector for the radial date that's built into the flank of the case. You don't have to use a dimple corrector or a toothpick. Moreover, the crown itself, a screw down, and a robust case back and down this watch with 150 meters of water resistance. That's real water resistance that you can use for swimming, pretty much any aquatic activity short of professional diving. The movement is high horology, hailing from Vacheron Constantin's longtime partner in high horology, Jezure Le Coult. 
built over the years. They've shared movements and architectures. This is a JLC 939 base, which is to say automatic winding, unidirectional for high efficiency with ceramic rotor bearings. It's also free sprung for precise regulation and durability, precise metering of the time in the face of vibration and bumps on the wrist. A high horology movement, it is quite thin and fine with an open barrel and a beautiful architecture, slim in profile, comprehensive in its features and extremely accurate when properly regulated. It's the perfect high horology heart for a high horology sports watch. And to cap it all off, Vacheron Constantin encases the movement in an iron cage, a paramagnetic material to channel magnetic field lines around the ferrous hairspring. This is a timepiece with an immense following. Many believe that the second generation Vacheron Constantin overseas is the definitive series. You can see why and purchase this dual time example on our website.